Hi everyone, I'm Diwa from Wiser Biker. Now for those of you who are not sure what a bike computer is, basically it is a device that tracks and records as well as display different data such as your riding speed, the distance travel, your heart rate, your cadence, elevation, as well as slope gradients. Now there are many more information that it can track, but most of the bike computer can offer you such functions. Have you heard of this company called Kuspos? Actually, Kuspos was established in 2014. They are a tech company that actually specializes in designing and developing and manufacturing bicycle computer as well as other gadgets such as indoor trainers and various sensors. Now, Kuspos have sent us one of their bicycle computer, which is the VC107, together with the heart rate sensor, the HWA07, and a cadence and speed sensor, BK467. So today, I am going to give you an in-depth review of this Kuspo bike computer, VC107. I have used these sensors. This is a unbanned heart rate monitor as well as this Kuzbo's uh, speed and cadence sensor. I've got no problem, no issue with them. They work really well for their functions. And this, especially I want to mention that this heart rate monitor as a unbanned heart rate monitor is a good alternative to the normal chest band that I use. All right, so very good for these two sensors. So today I'm going to give you my in-depth review of this, what I deem as an incredibly normal bicycle computer. Now when we say incredibly normal, please don't get us wrong. Normal is actually good. Now we have tested other bike computers that are abnormal. They always give us abnormal readings. So this Kuspo BC107 being so incredibly normal is actually very, very good. Let's take a look at the specs of the Kuspo BC107. The physical dimension is 80 by 54 by 20.64 mm. It's got a 2.4 inch display. The weight is only 64 gram. It also comes with automatic backlight and the battery life is 28 hours with GPS. It takes two hours to get a full charge and the positioning system uses GPS as well as BDS, the Beto system. There's no routing or navigation function. As for the storage, it's got 8M, which claims to have 80 hours of storage history. For the connectivity, the Kuspo BC107 comes with Bluetooth and N Plus connectivity. However, do take note that for Bluetooth, it is only applicable to handphone, while to connect to sensors, it actually uses N Plus. Now this bike computer has got a very sleek and clean design. The charging point is at the back well sealed and covered by this waterproof cover. There are three buttons below the screen and the functions are simple and straightforward. Let me show you how to use this. So before you start using this bike computer, you can press and hold this button. It will show you the setup page. There are a total of five different settings for you to set up before your ride. Setting number one, P1 is program one. Program one is where you can pair your different sensors, your heart rate monitors, your cadence sensor, as well as a speed sensor if you have one, also the power meter. P2 is the wheel diameter. So if you are unsure of your wheel diameter, you can refer to its manual, it's got a chart. P3 is the time zone. So depending on which region you are in, set the correct time zone. P4, P4 is the unit that you prefer to use. You can either choose KM per hour or MPH, miles per hour. And finally, P5, P5 is the calibration of your power meter. So if you have a power meter, you can go to this page and calibrate it. It has an auto calibration, so you can, when blinking is calibrating, and once it stops flashing, it means the power meter has been calibrated. Once you are done setting up P1 to P5, 
you can press the power button you'll be brought back to the home page and you can start using your bike computer so this button other than being the power on and power off button it is also a lap button it means when you want to start a new lap you can press this the button in the middle is the start pause and finish button so if you press it you go to a countdown and it will start recording all right to pause you can also press this button and to stop recording of your whole ride you can press and hold the button on the right is the page button it directs you to the next page so this cool pro bc107 comes with three pages the first page is the current parameters which means all the data that is shown here on this page are the instantaneous readings the current speed current cadence current heart rate current distance etc and you go to page two it shows you the average readings that means all these parameters are calculated over the average of your whole trip and the last page is the maximum readings maximum speed maximum cadence maximum heart rate as you have seen i think the setup is really simple and straightforward i don't encounter much difficulty doing it if you do you can always refer to its manual so now let me share with you what i like and what i don't like about this bicycle computer so first i will tell you what i like about this bike computer i have used it for about three months and in total i think i've recorded more than 30 rides here is what i like first thing first is the display i think it's got a big screen and kuspo also has a very clever use of the screen estate basically they have got the parameters laid out nice and neat and the important parameters are blown up while the less important parameters such as the time and uh, temperature are all placed on top and in smaller size the next thing i like about this is the battery life while kuspo claims that it can last for 28 hours using gps well i mm, I've, <laughs> I've never gone for 28 hour long ride but uh personally my routine is to charge my device every one to two weeks and for this Cosmo bc107 after two weeks when i charge it it still got quite a amount of battery in it so i believe it can definitely last for 20 hours at least other than the battery life i must comment on the reliability i mean the consistency of these gps readings which i think it is a very important factor for a bicycle computer now i commute to work every day so i use this kuspo 107 to record my ride it always give me the same consistent readings in terms of the elevation gain the kuspo bc107 is also very accurate now if you don't know an other budget computer in the market right now the source g plus which is very popular but it is also very notorious in terms of its measurement of the elevation gain it exaggerated uh, pretty much but uh, when i'm using the cosmo one bc107 uh, it doesn't give me that issue the measurement is very accurate i've used it and i have compared it with my other bike computers and the readings are not far off I also like about the build quality of this Kuspo BC107. Now, like I mentioned earlier on, the exterior design is very slick, very clean, and very simple. I like this design very much. And the buttons are simple and very easy to use. They are straightforward and you can operate it with one hand. That is very important. Kuspo is also very generous about the spare parts that they're giving. With the unit comes with two different bicycle mounts and a few sizes of rubber bands for you to choose to use with uh, bikes of different handlebar width okay so that is something i find very considerate and lastly the price is not expensive at all in in fact it is just a few dollars more than source g plus and you can get it easily for about 51 singapore dollars now so much good thing about the bc107 it is not perfect it does have some flaws i mean i've identified two of them uh, which really matters a lot to me now the kuspo app can be quite frustrating to use yeah so just this is just one example i can i'm trying to show you especially when you are trying to update your personal data uh, it 
it's not straightforward to find where is that subcategory that I need to press in and eventually after trying some luck and you got to be very observant to realize that oh, you can actually press on your name there's a small arrow next to it here that you can press and then go in and find the user profile I think Kuspos can improve on this and the next thing that really frustrates me is that um, when I go to the activity page here it shows all the activities all the rights that I've recorded and let me show you an example when I press in one of these rights it shows my right and it's only show one line there is no map behind this line and I figure out the reason is that they are using Gauda map and Gauda map do not support the region outside of China while this has a solution by uploading it to a third party app but I think that as a organic app that supports the bike computer this is definitely something that I expect it to work when I go into the app I expect to see my ride on a map so this definitely needs to be improved now uh, lastly on the charts well the charts works fine you can point to any specific time and it will show you the data but the only thing is that you cannot zoom in the different graphs so uh, well you you have to make do with the miniature size now as for the physical unit itself I do come across one issue and that is uh, I was riding it on a very hot day I was riding outdoor and all of a sudden the screen become foggy that means there are some water inside what I I am not sure why because throughout my usage of this Kuspo PC107 I have not used the unit under rain or it has not come into any contact with water but the, the fog just appear under hot sun so uh, while I'm still in the midst of trying to figure out why I will con probably contact the uh, manufacturer and try to find out if this is a common or, or is this just a defect of this unit but when I do have the answer, I will try to update it in the comment below. But I must say that uh, throughout my whole usage of more than 30 rides, this only happened once. So who is this bike computer for? We categorize it as an entry-level bicycle computer. Uh, I would think that it is very useful for people who are still using their phone to track their ride. Now instead of using your expensive phone, now you have a much more affordable budget option to track your ride and, and to, at the same time to save the battery power of your phone also for people who are still not using bicycle computer I strongly encourage you to use one and this is a good starting point because you can use it to record and share your rides now by recording and sharing your rides it can really be a very socially engaging kind of activity and as well as a motivation for yourself now, as for people who has a very good bicycle computer, a premium bicycle computer, in my opinion, I still think that uh, it is good to have a reliable backup. And this is a cheap and reliable option. Let me give you an illustration. Now, in case by any chance that your primary bike computer breaks down on the day that you want to go out for an important ride, you have no time to get it fixed. You can always grab this one to use as a spare bike computer and you'll still be able to record your ride without missing any data while you try and take your time to get the primary computer fixed however do remember that the app for the Kuspo is not that good but if you are a person who use many Strava or other third-party riding app then you will probably be able to live with it in our opinion, the Kuspo BC107 is a very strong contender in the entry-level bicycle computer category because it's got a very reliable and consistent GPS reading and at the same time, a very affordable price tag which are essentially the most important considerations in an entry-level bicycle computer and if you have no idea what bicycle computer to get, you can really consider this Okay, so that is all I've got for you today. If you've been using the Kuspo PC107 and you've got your views, do let us know in the comments below. 
Otherwise, I really hope that you like our content today and do give us a thumbs up and remember to subscribe to our channel if you haven't done so. Thank you and I'll see you again for more bicycle and product reviews.